Well, it may be music festival season up the road in Austin, but San Antonio isn't too far behind. That's right. Eyewitness News reporter Andrea Martinez explains how San Antonio's live music scene attracts more people and profit than ever before. Texas's biggest music festival, ACL, brings hundreds of thousands of people to Texas each year. But just down the road, scenes like these are popping up across San Antonio. The Rustic, a new food, bar, and live music venue at the Rim, brings San Antonians live music seven days a week for free. The Rustic's owner, Pat Green, just performed last week, and the venue plans to bring larger national touring acts to their stage as well. We want to uh, be great for the guests, but also for the musicians that are coming in. So, um, you know, getting their start at the Rustic, that's pretty cool. The Rustic draws country and blues crowds to the rim. At the Paper Tiger, close to downtown, artists play just about anything live, from punk rock to indie to country music. And at Luna, you'll find eclectic sounds like Americana and funk. They all feed the growing music economy of the Alamo City. The hospitality and tourism is one of the largest industries in our city, and that can come from national conferences that are located here, live music. In fact, music is well on its way to becoming a top attraction in San Antonio, with people coming in from across the state to visit venues and music festivals, meaning they spend their money here. Mala Luna Music Festival, happening later this month, will bring in big names like Future, Lil Wayne, and Wiz Khalifa, and is sure to bring in thousands of fans. But Tanika Music Festival will bring in even more big names in early March. And then, of course, we have some um, of the longer standing live music shows, such as the Tejano Music Festival. All helping turn the Alamo City into another outdoor live music mecca. Andrea Martinez, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.